What is up YouTube, AVI back with another video. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to measure your tire tread depth using just a single penny. And they do make tire tread depth measures which you can put in your tread, but that could cost you 20 to 30 bucks. And we figure we'll show you guys how to do it with just one cent in about five minutes of your time. So what we have here is we have Jess's Hyundai which we suspect needs new tires. And we do have my Jeep SRT8 which has relatively newer tires. So we'll show you guys the differences that you might see with a worn out tire that you might not see on tires that have a relatively good amount of tread left. Um, so what you're gonna first do is take your penny and crouch down to your tire and you're going to flip the penny over so that Lincoln's head is facing down. Now what you're gonna do is measure each tire um, and to see if you can see the top of Lincoln's head. So as you can see here, this tire tread is about at Lincoln's hairline, which measures at about three to 30, 330 seconds uh, inch tread. And what you're looking for is anything below that, meaning if you could see Lincoln's entire head, if it looked like that, that's when you want to replace it. And obviously we have a little bit more life left. And as we're measuring, you can actually see that there seems to be more depth in the middle treads rather than on the out tread. And what does that mean? That means that these, these tires could potentially be a little bit underinflated, meaning it's wearing on the ends faster than it's wearing in the middle. If it was the opposite where the middle was wearing faster than the outsides, that could be a cause of overinflation of tires. If you're seeing these outer treads and inner treads wearing faster than the middle, um, that, could be a, that could be a cause of bad suspension. Um, and that's something where I would definitely recommend changing the tires. If, all tires are relatively same like this. This isn't terrible cause for concern um, with the wearing. I would say that this tire doesn't yet need to be changed completely, um, but definitely in the next couple of months. And something to keep in mind too, is if you guys live in the Northern states um, that have a lot of snow and rain and freezing rain and stuff, definitely I would recommend if you're, if you're like this, this tire depth in winter is coming, I would recommend changing them um, just to have a little bit more sta stability on the roads during inclement weather. Um, now what we're gonna do is show you guys the Jeep tire tread and show you guys what that looks like. Um, where's Lincoln's head on a new tire? Uh, so we're gonna flip over to the Jeep over here. And you can see as you put, it, put the penny in there, you can pretty much go right up to his nose uh, with the tire depth in here. Pretty much the same and the same as well. Um, so that means that's at about 8, 30 seconds of an inch tire depth um, of the tread, and that means they're relatively new. New tires are about 10, 30 seconds of an inch uh, to 11, 30 seconds of an inch when installed. Um, so this obviously means that I've been wearing the tires a little bit, um, obviously over the course of 8,000 miles or so. So if you guys found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and check out our merch on our website down below. We do have shirts uh, as long as magnets and stickers coming out very soon. So please subscribe, support us, and thank you guys. And just like that, AVI out.